Okay, we have here kind of an odd looking integral from the UNSW integration B 2020 problem 18. We have the integral of E arc cosine of X DX. Okay, right away this whole thing is really about this arc cosine X. Now the inverse functions can be kind of difficult to deal with anyway, but we really don't want that as the exponent on E. So I'm thinking I want to deal with this somehow, and the best way I know is to do it just a u substitution. So I'm going to say we're going to we're going to set u equal to our cosine of x. But what I can do is rearrange it, taking cosine of both sides. We find that x is just going to be equal to cosine of u. Then we want a dx value. So for dx, taking the derivative, derivative of this is just going to be minus sine u du. So now we'll just go ahead and substitute. So this is just going to turn into EU here. Our DX is going to become this. I'm going to write this as sine U DU. And I think I'll, I'll just pull the minus up front of the integral. But now for this thing here, really what we want to do is integration by parts on that because we've got two functions. And so let's do integration by parts using the DI method really quick. We can really do this either way. I don't think it really matters how we choose to differentiate integrate, but I'm going to integrate EU and I'm just gonna differentiate sine u. So taking the derivative here, this is gonna give me cosine u. Integrating here, we have eu. Doing this again here, derivative of cosine u is gonna be minus sine u. Integral here is gonna be eu. But then I notice right here that the integral repeats. We have the exact same thing here that we have right there. And that's usually a good time to stop with this. So we're gonna have part of our solution here on the diagonals. Now let me, I probably should have just included the minus, but let's distribute it in now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out an e to the u, distributing this minus in here to this one. This is gonna give me cosine u. Then distributing the minus into this sine, we'll have minus sine u. And then this last row is gonna be an integral. We distribute the minus sine in here. And so this is gonna give me just plus eu sine u du. But from here, what I can do is actually, we'll just label this integral here. I'm gonna call this i with the minus sign. Well, what that means is this here, this here is actually minus i. I think what I can do to make this more clear probably is if I just bring the minus inside the integral, then what I can do here on this one is bring a minus inside this one and have a minus here. So now it's clear that we have minus i, we're subtracting this same integral we have here. So what we'll do then is we'll bring this i down here add an i on both sides, add an i here. So this is gonna cancel out and we're gonna have two i equals this eu cosine u minus sine u. But to isolate our i, our main goal, I can just divide by two on both sides. And so that's gonna cancel there. And so all we need to do here is we just need to back substitute in order to finish this off. Okay, now one thing on the back substitution, we already have our value here for u and we have here a value for cosine of u. We would just like a value for sine of u. What I can do for that is I'll just draw the triangle really quick and we can solve for that. So drawing this, the angle in this is gonna be u. So we'll have our u. I can write this as x over one. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can write this as x over one. But then if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we can find our third side. That's just gonna be one minus x squared. And so then we could just use this triangle to find our sine of u. So sine of u is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So that's just gonna be square root of one minus x squared. So now we can go ahead and we can finish this off. So e, we have our u value is just gonna be arc sine of x. Cosine of u is gonna be x minus the sine value we just found, which is square root of one minus x squared. Add a plus c and that's it. Okay, pretty interesting problem from UNSW 2020. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.